Hey guys, Lamborox strikes back once again, and today I'm going with you on Chicky Run Don the Nugget. Came of the year of 2023, aka last year. So the base of the plot is it taking place after the first film left off. They introduced to a, a new a new daughter called Molly, not Molly McGee from Ghost of Molly McGee, Molly, and and she wants to explore the world, and then she got ca captured by the, of course, the same villain from the first film, Miss Tweedy. And this time, instead of she wants to turn chickens to, to, to chicken pies, she wants to turn, change them to chicken nuggets. That's right. Yes, you got, yeah, chicken nuggets. So it's up, up to the gang to, to, um, to defeat Miss Tweety, rescue Molly, and save the day. And that's basically what the plot is. Now, I rewatched the first film two days ago, and I finished the rest last night. And I've got to say, the first film is an absolute classic. It's an absolute great, it's an absolute classic with great animation, great humor, great voice acting. It's overall the, a great way to start Armin. And Armin in general is a great studio and I really enjoy most of their films. However, guys, I have not seen Early Man or the sequel to Shaun the Sheep movie, but I have seen most of them. And I didn't watch this movie until this, till yesterday, until last night. So, I was on my comfy bed, I watched it on my phone, and um, and I was messaging Jeremy, at, my YouTube friend Jeremy, at the same time, because Jeremy's a great YouTube friend of mine, and saw the guy, that was just a message from my boss and my YouTube friend Jeremy, aka my boss from Tim Hortons, and luckily he's not doing, he's not, he's not asking me to do cover shifts tomorrow, because I'm actually, work from, I'm actually off from work tomorrow, He just showing me pictures of, of the newest food coming to Tim Hortons this month, just to let you guys know, and yes, I do like my, and yes, I do like my boss from Tim Hortons, he's a great guy, he's a great, he's a very nice person, very nice person, guys, but like I was saying, guys, um, so, when I heard them make a sequel, I was like, um, do we need a sequel to this? I just think it's kind of unnecessary, and it's just, uh, it was just great as one movie. But then I watched it last night, and I gotta say, it was good, but not as good as the first film. Uh, the first film was a lot better, but, I, but I do, it's still a fun sequel overall. Now let's get into the story. Now the story, yeah, the story was a bit done before, but it's still a decent, a good story. Instead of chicken pies in the first film with Miss Tweety trying to, to kidnap, to kill the chickens and turn to, to, um, to, to chicken pie, he wants to turn them to chicken nuggets. That's right, the good old chicken nuggets. If you guys, you guys must have chicken nuggets during your childhood at, at McDonald's, like, as much as my, and believe it or not, guys, my mum loves chicken nuggets from McDonald's. That's right, my mum loves the chicken nuggets from McDonald's. As a matter of fact, my mum loves having the 20 piece chicken nuggets from McDonald's, and and, and um, she's always been craving for 20 piece nuggets from nuggets, 20 piece chicken nuggets from McDonald's, and I don't blame her. 20 piece nuggets are the best thing that came to the Tim Ho came to the McDonald's menu along with of course the good old Big Mac the classics yeah yeah and yeah um I gotta say after watching this movie this movie made me want to go to McDonald's and and buy a 20 piece nuggets for me and my mom to share and we can have it together and have a great time etc so yeah um and um so and uh, I, I, and also uh, the Molly herself, not Molly McGee from Ghost of Molly McGee, not to confuse with her name because they're from the same names, Molly. I saw. She's a great character. I do really like Molly. She's a great character and definitely has a good personality. As to the villain, Miss Tweedy, I, I'm surprised that she came back. And and uh, unfortunately, her husband did not came back in this movie. I think because I think his actor who died. I can't let really know if 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 the um if um if if her husband, her, her, technically her ex-husband died, the actor, I'm not sure, but, but anyway, uh, yeah, she's back once again, and on, yeah, and I, of course, she's replied for as well, and I gotta say, she did a good job in this movie, and I do like, um, her motivation in this movie, instead of, um, um, chicken pot pies, instead it's chicken nuggets, which I think is an interesting premise, and, and yes, um, so yeah, um, the animation is absolutely great because uh, come on, Armin knows never let me down. Armin makes great films. I really enjoy most of Armin films. I never seen, like I said, guys, I never seen Early Man or Shaun the Sheep movie two. Which um, I mean, and as for as for Early Man, I do remember getting the tray for that film when I went to go see Star Wars: The Last Jedi, and and that's the film I never got around to watch ex exactly six years later. So it does air quite a lot. It does air on Sky Cinema and BBC One quite sometimes, but. 
there, maybe there'll be a period of time I will I'll consider watching Early Man. So let me know in the comments if Early Man's actually worth watching because that's actually the one ultimate film I never got around to watch. A lot of Shaun the Sheep movie too. I have seen the first film, the first film was great, but it's but those are the only two armored films I have not watched. So yeah. And um, I was actually okay with this film. Now, is, is this movie just as good as the first film? Not really. I do think the first film is a lot better because the first film, yes, it's about an hour and 20 minutes long. This film was about an hour and 43, five minutes long. I thought this film is a little bit too long for, um, for, for, for Armand film, but I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's a good thing because um, it's, it's just so great to see these characters again after so many years. Like this, this movie came out 23 years after the, um, let's see let me, if, it, if I can do the math guys. So yeah. Yeah, this movie came out 23 years after its predecessor. Like, holy shit, like, this movie came out 23 years. It's kind of like a, we waited 14 years for Incredibles 2, and and a lot, and, and many fans waited for an Avatar sequel, which, Avatar The Way of Water, which, um, that and the first film, I never review on my channel. I have seen both films, but I never review on my channel. That's that's a p potential 500 review I might consider doing a review on Avatar. But those, that's a film I want to review ever since I came to YouTube. And along with Terminator 2 Judgment Day, which that film's a masterpiece. So, yeah. Um, so, yes. Um, overall, um, with great characters, great animation and great humor, it's overall a, a, a decent, a good sequel. And not as good as the first one, but still a fun sequel. Is this my? Is it the best Netflix original film I've ever seen in my life? Not really. The best Netflix original movie is still goes to Mitchell vs. the Machines. Mitchell vs. the Machines is a phenomenal masterpiece and it, with great animation, great characters, great humor, and some really great good themes and, and even some really great jokes for, for adults and, and kids to enjoy and a really great premise. But I will say it's not the best Netflix original. It's still a fun watch. Definitely better than QT's and Marvel 2 2022, which those two are the worst Netflix original films I've ever seen in my life. But my favorite Armin film is, is, is the first film, is Chicken Run and of course Wallace and Grind, The Curse of Rare Rabbit, which those two films are absolute masterpiece and easily one of Armin's best works. And yes, the Wars and Gromit is a great franchise and a great and, and it's a classic. And I'm, I'm and I am actually I'm actually going to do, do a potential review on all the shorts to keep my channel going. So overall, this movie gets a 9 out of 10. Now, the reason why I give it a 9 out of 10, because the story was a bit cliched, but, and the movie's a bit, bit too long, but it's not a bad thing, but it's still a fun watch. Will I watch this movie again? Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't mind. It's definitely a film I, I wouldn't mind going back to. If I'm in the mood, and if I'm to have an armor marathon, this is a film, and honestly guys, this is a shocking guys, there hasn't been a, a bad armor film. That's right, I never ranked on a bad armor film. I actually enjoy and appreciate most of their films. So anyway guys, that's my review on Chicken Run, Dawn of the Nugget. Unfortunately guys, there won't be any reviews tomorrow or Wednesday because I'm, apparently because I'm off from work in those two days. So there won't be any reviews in those two days, so yeah. So anyway guys, I, so I have an assignment on my next with you is you have to wait and see guys and please guys, whatever you guys do, do not request me any reviews or rants on my channel. This is my channel, I can do whatever I want because I don't take requests on my on on my on my channel anymore. If you guys have seen my my channel information, you, you some most some of the fans don't really pay, some some YouTubers don't even pay attention to my, to, to that to that thing on my information of it. So yeah, um so anyway, uh, I'll keep you guys updated what my next video will be. And as for my next rant, um, I don't really know what my next rant will be. I do want to rant on the Loud House um, um, No Such Luck, which that episode was awful. I hate that episode with a burning passion. That's an episode I I, I want to rant on because it, that's actually an, an awful episode. I might consider a rant on that. And, but anyway, so yeah, uh, we're going to hear you guys. Bye.